Without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce head baseball coach Marvell Melendez. of this university fits the vision and direction that I have as a professional. It is the passion that I will bring to this university what will make everyone proud. My job now will be to not only win championships, but also turn young men into real men. My job will not just be on the field, but will also be off the field. We will bring quality student athletes that will excel in everything that they do, not only on the field. We have been able to do it in the past 12 years. And I say we, because it takes a whole entire team to get it done. Marvell Melendez is not a hero. Marvell Melendez is not, does not fly solo. We have a group of assistant coaches and, and players that have played for me that have believed and the vision and the direction of what I wanted my program to be. That same vision is what I will bring here to Alabama State University. The same passion is what I'm going to bring to Alabama State University. We have the resources. We have the people in place. I was so impressed with the administration that right when I got here, I called my wife and I told my wife, if you want to know first impression, said, it's a go. Without meeting anyone else. I met, I have talked to Mr. Danley several times over the phone. I met with Mr. McGee, who was the one that picked me up at the airport. And I was so impressed, and I got that, I, I get a feeling. And I coach a lot based on not just the way that I think it should be played out, but the feeling that I have inside. And the feeling that I had when I arrived in Montgomery, Alabama, was a feeling of, this is, where I'm going to call home for the, for the next 5 to 10 to 15 to 20, however long you guys want me to <laughs> I know that I feel the shoes of a legendary coach. Coach Watkins, what he has done here, it's, very, it's going to be very hard to duplicate. I'm not coming here to, to overdo what he has done. I'm here to embrace the tradition, the history of Alabama State University Baseball, and to enrich the young men that I will coach into hopefully greater heights. But I will embrace him, Coach Watkins, and his legacy, what he leaves behind, what he stands for. And I will piggyback on that, and hopefully the end result will be a positive one in many championships. The recruiting is going to be very, very simple. And Dr. Harris asked me a very simple question. He said, are you going to be able to recruit the same quality players that you recruited at your previous institution? And as you recall, Dr. Harris, my, my answer was, there's not an ounce of doubt in my body that I will be able to do that here. No question. As I stand here, 
I also want to, would like to introduce to you members of my coaching staff that will follow me from Bethune-Cookman to Alabama State University. And one important fact is that both young men, they're younger than me, <laughs> have played for me. Not only have they played for me, but they have coached for me. Not only have they coached for me, but now they're following me here to Alabama State University. It says a lot about them. It says a lot about Alabama State University. And it says a lot about what we have done with the young men that we coach. It's about loyalty. It's about doing what's right. It's about not cutting any corners. We're doing right for the people that you touch. In this business, you're going you're gonna to be known for the victories and the championships that you achieve as a coach. But in real life, it's about the people that you touch, that come across you. And that, in turn, is what, I, what our staff is going to bring here, that personal touch. I met with several other players, returning players, and I told them, I said, we're going to have fun. I'm going to demand a lot of that out of you, but we're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves, but we're going to do it right. We're going, to, we're going to pay attention to the little things. The little things are the ones that are going to matter. Mr. Vasquez is, has been my associate head coach the last two and a half years. Uh, he was a catcher for the 2002 uh, MIA championship team. He was also a big part of uh, the 39 victories that we achieved that year uh, and has been an assistant either as a student assistant, volunteer assistant, second uh, assistant coach, and now my associate head coach for the last two and a half years, and he's going to follow me. But one important fact that you need to know, he has turned down this summer jobs from the University of Central Florida, a big university. He has turned down any communication. He received a phone call from the University of Miami as an assistant coach. He has turned down the, the Florida a &M University head coaching position. And most importantly, he has turned down the chance to be a head coach at Bethel Cookman University to follow us in here. Wow. So please. <laughs> this is summer, two opportunities to be a head baseball coach, and one actually secure opportunity, two of them, that he's turned down to be here at Alabama State University. I appreciate him, his family, the commitment that he has uh, to me and my family, and I can't express what that means to me. So thank you for, for being here. My other assistant coach will be Drew Clark. Drew Clark also played for me uh, as far as two years ago. I thought so highly of him that I needed to keep him as a student assistant. As a student assistant, he, he exceeded my expectations. The following year, we had a vacancy, and rather than searching someone out in, in the baseball community, I gave him the opportunity to be an assistant coach. So last year was his first year as a full-time assistant. Needless to say, we enjoyed a, a great season, 36 victories, and another trip to the NCAA tournament. And he was a big, a big part on the success of uh, our program the last six years. So Drew Clark will be joining us as an assistant coach. Well. <laughs> one thing that I will promise you, I don't make a lot of promises, but one thing that I will promise is that one, I'm going to be loyal to this institution, to Alabama State University. Second, I will work hard to not only make our players, their families, but I'm going to work hard to make you proud of what this institution is going to be, our baseball program will be. That I can assure you. Just like I tell the players, you leave it on the field, the outcome will take care of itself. And that's what we're going to bring here. I am honored. I'm excited. I can't wait to not only get on the field, but start meeting everyone, learning the system. It's going to take me a little bit of time but hopefully it won't take me more than a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> I asked one, quick, one question to Mr. Danley, Mr. Hines, Mr. McGee. Very important question. As we met in the lobby of the hotel, when I was here to visit, I said, do you really know what you're getting yourself into? <laughs> 
The answer was yes. So I hope as, as we take this journey together, and I will need every single one of your support, and I hope that we have a packed stadium, the first home game that we have here. We're going to bring excitement to this university. We're going to bring excitement to the baseball program. We're looking forward to, you may not see us a whole lot this summer, because we're going to be hitting the recruiting trail really, really hard. And I told Mr. Danley, I said, don't expect our faces here too often, because we got to get out there and we got to work. But part of my staff, someone will be here at all times, making sure that the young men are taken care of, the returning ones, and the ones that will be joining us. So I embrace the challenge. I embrace the opportunity to be here. I thank God for putting me in this situation. I thank my wife for supporting me and my two kids in this endeavor and coming in here to, to achieve and, and challenge my professional career. And I believe that this place, we're going to be looking back in five years and we're going to be smiling. I am honored. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity. Mr. McGee, once again, Mr. Hines, Mr. Downley, Dr. Harris, and Dr. Knight. Thank you. I'm honored, pleased to be here, and it is a great time to be a Hornet. <laughs> Chairman of the County Commission and Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Elton Dean. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we're glad you're here. We are very delighted that with us is the Mayor of the City of uh, Montgomery, Mayor Strange. Uh, Mayor, he can probably strike you out. That would be a problem. This, uh, <laughs> you play that this, <laughs> this meeting this morning really helps me to understand that people are beginning to recognize what we say, what we mean when we say uh, this is a transformation for Alabama State University and it's a great time to be a Hornet. Uh, we would not have had uh, a, a symbol, a group like this for a baseball announcement uh, five or six years ago. And we would not have had this place in which to assemble. This building is representative of where we want to go with our athletics program. We're not there yet, Coach, with baseball, but we are here in football. And this place represents the vision we have for the future of all of our athletics programs. And that's why we thought it would be uh, worthwhile to have this announcement here, because we know this isn't baseball, this is football. We can do it here, and also because it's 97 degrees out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is it, and this is why we're here. Mrs. Men Menendez. Boys, welcome home. This is going to be a great place for you. And you too will say before long, it's a great time to be a Hornet. <laughs> it is. It is for all of us. We welcome this day. We look forward to the opening of uh, baseball season next spring. And we look forward to the first in a long time championship in baseball. By the way, he and I did have that conversation about uh, the coach and I did have that conversation about recruiting, uh, and he tells me that was two a week and a half ago. He tells me today they already have 11 signed oh. for this year, oh. and three for the first. <laughs> so we're looking ahead. Three for 12 already. This is going to be a great place to be to watch baseball, and it is indeed a great time to be a Hornet. And those of you who wish to talk more to Coach, I present him again to you. This time, if the media has any questions for Coach Melendez, otherwise we can assemble near side media. I have a question. <clears throat> now, you mentioned earlier that you had a vision for ASU. Exactly how does ASU tie into your vision of what you see in the future? One word, Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for attending. We have uh, refreshments just down the hall to the left. Media will gather over here for follow-up questions for Coach Melendez, also for Mr. Stanley. Thank you everyone for coming and have a good day.